Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to Memento, a podcast by Washington Avenue Christian Church. You see, here at Washington Avenue, we understand that sometimes we forget who we are, and sometimes we forget what we're supposed to do, and sometimes we even forget what we talked about on Sunday morning. And so the uh, purpose, vision, mission of this podcast is to remind you of who you are and remind you of what you're supposed to do and um, remind you about what we talked about on Sunday. And we are in one of the weeks of our Ephesians series, We Are, but I know that we're in week two of the uh, phase two of the Ephesians series, We Are Reunited. And um, Jim said something on Sunday morning that uh, just, I really liked and really uh, enjoyed uh, the, the tangibility of as an illustration. So I just want to camp out there for our time together today. And, and Jim said this, and he borrowed it from uh, Michael DeFazio, who's a professor at Ozark Christian College. He said, if the community is a city, you're not resident aliens, but citizens. And if the community is a family, you're not friends at a sleepover, but children. And if the community is a building, you're not uh, wall paintings, but walls. And uh, a couple weeks ago, Samantha and I went uh, to Phoenix for our, our anniversary, and it was great. Um, I talked about it um, last week in my message, but um, here's the thing, is that we don't know our way around Phoenix at all, and so literally, if we wanted to go anywhere, we had to pull up a GPS um, and uh, use, uh, you know, phone battery life and data and all of these things to, to get us where we're supposed to go. Now, we got where we were supposed to go, and we got there uh, efficiently and more easily than it would have been if we would have just, like, drove around blindly, but... Um, it was just a constant reminder every single time that we were in the vehicle that we did not live here. But even after five days, um, I learned that if I could just get back to Route 115 East, then I could get to where I was supposed to be. I could get to our resort. And um, it got me thinking about this just a little bit Um in the, if the community is a city, you're not resident aliens, but citizens, is that like we don't have to worry about not knowing where we are. Which isn't to say that we shouldn't know where we are all the time, but that we don't have to worry about not knowing where we are. Um, when Samantha and I moved here, you know, this is my hometown, but for Samantha, it took her a while to figure out where things were. And so even in the place where she lived, she still had to use the GPS. Um, but the more she became familiar and comfortable with the place that she was at, the less and less and less she had to use the GPS. So what I think that I'm trying to communicate is this, two things. First of all, um, we live as citizens in a place where you oughtn't need the GPS. But if you need the GPS, that's okay. If this is new for you, this walk with Jesus, and you're trying to, to find your way, and you're not quite sure where to go or what to do, using the GPS is okay. Because the more and more familiar you get with the territory, the less and less you'll have to use the GPS. So um, if you're using your GPS, if you're having to ask, is this the right thing to do? Or should I be doing this? Or if you're seeking counsel and things, that's okay. Like, that's what we're here for, and we um, are thrilled that you're able to do that. If you've been a Christian for 20 years and you're still using your GPS, maybe not the best thing. Um, so, yeah. Moving on. If the community's a family, that means that uh, you're not friends at a sleepover, but citizens, and uh, that, that just jumped out to me uh, because, you know, whenever I was in middle school, uh, having sleepovers and stuff, the parents would always say, you know, make yourselves at home, which I hate, right? Because I'm th no way in the world am I going to act at a, you know, even if it's like a close friend, I'm not going to act the same way there that I do at home. And people even still like will go over to visit and they're like, oh, just make yourselves at home. And I'm like, listen, you don't want me to make myself at home because I'm a weird person and I do weird things and I'm, you, do, you don't want to see weird Shane come out. And so I'm not going to make myself at home. But I appreciate the sentiment is that no matter how many times you've been, how many times that uh, you've been over to this person's house, like, uh, I, 
you're not going to make yourself at home there. Um, no matter how many times you've stayed the night, you still are going to have to like look around in the cabinet for plates and forks and spoons. Uh, even at my in-laws now, because we're not there all the time. Um, whenever I go back and visit, I have to open a cabinet like five times to find, you know, the cups. And it's like, uh, it's just a daily reminder of the fact that I don't belong. But not so in this family. Like in this family, you belong. And again, just kind of like the GPS illustration um, in, in our last point, like if you're having to, to open up cabinets to find things, that's okay. Like we're, we're here to um, help you facilitate your discovery. Um, but if you've been here for, you know, and not just here at Washington Avenue, but if you've been in the Christian community for the majority of your life and you're still like opening cabinets to find cups like that, that means that you're not growing and that you're not allowing yourselves to settle into the community that you're a part of that at some point or another, like you're still like the friend at the sleepover and not the host of the sleepover. Not that you're the host, but that God is the host and you're just a child who lives in the house as well. Um, if the community is a building, you're not wall paintings, but the walls. I, I like this because, um, you know, you're not, you're not a, just a decoration um, that is going to go out of style and out of trend. You know, you're not a shiplap wall that uh, in, in 20 years when Johanna Gaines is dead and buried and nobody remembers who she is, like shiplap's not going to be cool anymore um, and they're going to take it down and they're going to do something else. Um, you're, so you're not the shiplap, you're not the, dis, the, the, the decorations, um, you're not just there to be uh, put up for a season and then brought down again um, when the season is gone or when the trend is over or when you pass away, um, you are the actual walls of the building. And I think that we can draw some really, really practical things out of this. First of all, um, is that um, we, can use, we can use these illustrations as, um, as measures for our own growth in the Christian walk. Um, like we've said before, like if you're still opening up the cabinets and having to use the GPS to figure out your way around, like that probably means that you're not growing. And so if that's the case, man, I would love to talk to you about what uh, sort of plan we can make to help you grow. And I think that you're in the right spot already, even just by listening to this podcast, not necessarily that I have the best things to say or that we have all of the best ideas here, but that um, you're choosing to spend your time soaking in uh, the word and in, uh, in uh, the interpretation of the word for the, you know, the purposes of growing. And so you're on the right track. And if, if you want to continue on that track, man, I'd love to talk to you more about um, what your next steps might be. But um, we can use these ideas as a, as a marker for our own growth. Um, we can also use these, you know, a, a, as a gauge for uh, how we treat other people, right? Um, if you see somebody else using their GPS, if you, uh, it, <laughs> maybe the GPS isn't the right thing because you're not going to jump in somebody else's car and like tell them, well, you should turn right here. Um, but <laughs> as the, as the host, right, of a, of a sleepover, um, you know, while I'm opening all of the cabinets in my in-law's house trying to find a cup to get some water, um, you know, if they happen to be standing there, uh, my father-in-law is going to be like, hey, Shane, it's that one right there. Um, and that saves me a lot of time. Um, it saves them a lot of cabinet banging and, and all of that. But um, I'm digressing. And what I'm trying to say is that, like, as we see people who seem a little bit uh, uncomfortable in their situation, who are who are trying to find the cup, guys, we get to help by saying, "Hey, it's right here." Um, and 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 sometimes that looks like, "Hey, I know for a fact that the answer to your question is right here." But I think a, a lot of other times, what it looks like is saying, "Hey, I'm I'm not quite sure of the answer, but I would love to walk beside you as we figure this out together." And to pull them in and to start doing things in community with each other, to, to bring along people who may not be at the same level of understanding or the same depth of faith as you, um, but, but rather than judging them for that or condescending them for, for being uh, less advanced in their walk or their spirituality or whatever, like the, the mark of a mature person is to go and say, hey, I would love to, to share in this journey with you. And I think that's something that we can all do. So maybe... 
uh, maybe the challenge for today is to go and to to find someone who who looks lost. And I'm not talking about like lost, like worldly lost, like doesn't know who Jesus is. That's another conversation for another day and something we should certainly be doing. But maybe it's somebody who's just like new in their faith, right? And and um, maybe it's here at at Washington Ave, or or maybe it's somebody in, in your workplace or. Um, somebody that you know in your neighborhood or whatever, but but find that person and find the ways in which they're trying to find the cups in the cabinet and and show them where they are and just walk alongside them and, and develop that relationship with them and show them who Jesus is. Um, last week, we talked about the problem and the solution. The problem was that we were separated uh, from God. Um, the solution was that Jesus tore down the walls, and, and, and the result of Jesus having torn down the walls is that now, like, there are no more walls. There is no, uh, there is no more uh, division, no more hostility, and now we are all in this together. And, and that's a really comforting thing, and, 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 and to me, it just brings about all kinds of, like, images in my mind of community doing things together, like acknowledging that we're all in this together and that our, our wisdom and knowledge um, for those of us who um, have more schooling or have been in the faith longer uh, is not to hoard that and to, to, uh, to celebrate it and um, to even to idolize it, but it's to use it to bring along other people as well. And that's what I uh, try to do on a weekly, if not daily basis. And hopefully that's something that you can try too. So that's your challenge for the week is to find that cabinet opener and show them where the water cup is. And um, I'm excited to, uh, to dive back in next week. Um, I will say that we're going to have a guest speaker next week who um, is not going to be preaching from Ephesians. He's going to be, um, I think, giving us a little bit of an update on CRF Christian Relief Fund and who they are and what they do. Um, and so that will be great. Um, we haven't decided what we're going to do here with this podcast yet. We may talk about what he talked about, um, or we may jump into some things that we kind of had to gloss over the past couple uh, or earlier on in this podcast. And so uh, maybe that's the direction that we'll go. But either way, we'll be back next week. We'd love to see you here. Um, if you enjoyed this message, if you liked um, what you heard, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bar so that you can get um, notified when our new episodes drop um, and share us with your friends. We're glad that you're here and we'll look forward to seeing you next week on Memento, a podcast from Washington Avenue Christian Church. We love you and we'll see you soon. Thank you.